Any of you who've watched my COD Mobile content before know that one thing that I love to do is check out the best players in the game and see what we can learn from them. And fortunately, NBA Infinite has a spectating feature, and some of the best players in the entire North American server have actually added me. So we're going to take this opportunity to spectate some cracked out players, including the most expensive card I have seen by far a 94 overall Jokic. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and we'll hop into it. Oh my God, this guy has the 94 Jokic. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to be able to watch him. That's crazy. 94 Jokic. I'm going to have to figure out what the cost of a 94 Jokic would even be. Yeah, I want the, the 94 Jokic POV. So I believe that Siakam is actually the one that I have on my friends list. Yeah, Jokic is... His screen ability in and of itself is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, basically makes everything within five meters a brick wall. Holy. That Tatum? I don't know what overall that Tatum is. Uh, yeah, to be fair, he's got Kyrie guarding him, and Kyrie is just not going to stand a chance in general. It's an 86 Kyrie, 90 overall Tatum. It's Ky I mean, it's got to be expensive to, to get this Kyrie, or at least difficult to find enough cards to do it, but I'm sure it's a lot easier now. It was like a walking bucket on offense. The walking bucket, but he is a straight-up cone on defense. Good lord. A little post-up move from Jokic on Siakam? I mean, ooh, baits him. Wow, he passed out of that. I thought once he bait him into the pump fake. Surely. Kyrie? Look for the blow by. Ooh. And with the reverse. I wish the I wish they would make the reverses a little bit more fluid. You can't really do like a solid reverse in the game yet. I'm sure there will be lots of gameplay improvements as it continues to be developed. That's a big board though. It's gonna be really, really tough for anything to do. Anyone to Ooh, a little step back. He doesn't doesn't really play like a like a 92 overall, but I guess you can kind of just sit there and waste out the clock. Ooh, Siakam got the steal though. Uh oh, yo kick to Tatum. Oh, I thought for sure you waited way too long on that one. Nah, that's a terrible. What? He missed time the mess out of that. I mean, Kyrie's not turning the ball over. Let's be honest. Kyrie has handles bestowed upon him by the gods. It's not happening. Jokic didn't really do a whole lot, though. Yeah, that Tatum had 9 on 80% shooting. That's wild. Curious how much 90 Tatum goes for, but obviously uh, the 94 Jokic is the is the big money player. Oh, I can see on the, on the card if I go and look at his profile. So we'll go here, ranked, leaderboard. He is Gelato, profile, recently played. There it is. All right, so tier 6 Jokic. What's the cost of a tier 6 Jokic? Or a rank 6 Jokic, I guess is the right terminology here. Buy up to rank 6 would cost up to rank 6. 71 million coins for rank 6 Jokic. Dear God. That's absurd. All right, we got the 94 Jokic in here again, going up against the 93 Siakam. I'm assuming that's going to be the matchup. And interesting that there's Jonathan Isaacs being run in this rank of the game. That's not one that I would have expected, but I've had people recommend him in the past. Obviously, the card we are going to be watching is the Jokic. I mean, that Kyrie card, even at 86... Seems impossible to stop. Obviously, the big downside is going to be against any type of bigger offensive player. It's going to be really tough to get stopped. So you just kind of have to assume that he's going to get a bucket every single time around. And I guess the main purpose of this Jokic card is just to be a facilitator. Isaac sitting back trying to trying to play help defense. I mean, Kyrie just looks simply unstoppable. I do like that in the spectating client, you get a little more stats as well. It has like a, a loose ball category. I would pr kind of prefer that they had like field goal percentage or something. And that's 100% on Jokic for leaving Siakam alone, but at least his foot was on the line, so it's just a tie game. His screen is no question one of his biggest upsides. That was kind of a bad shot by Kyrie. They played good help defense right there, so... It's, uh, it's looking a little dicey. That should be a... Uh... His foot was on the line there, too? 93 Siakam. Looking kind of insane right now. I've still yet to see 
this 70 million coin card actually get a bucket? Like, I figured he would be a master of post moves if you're spending this many coins on it. But he seems to run pretty one-dimensional style of play. And I guess at the bare minimum, you got boards out of him and whatever and use him for screens. But it kind of feels like a waste of opportunity. Brother, what are we doing? You got to shoot the ball. That's not it. I mean, on the bright side, I don't think we've missed him, or we've seen him miss a rebound yet. Which, if you're paying that much for a card, that should absolutely be the case as well. But it's just Kyrie going ISO every time, which, to be honest, it's working. I mean, Kyrie literally does not stand a chance in that situation. That's actually crazy. That I don't, I don't think we've seen him come close to getting a stop so far. Like, if I'm on the other team, I'm just passing it to whoever's being guarded by Kyrie every single time. Easy decision. And another board by Jokic. He doesn't even go for shots. He had the inside positioning right there. That would have been an easy one. I guess he's got three offensive rebounds, so he's really like a utility player more than anything. Oh, my God. The behind-the-back dribble by that Kyrie was <laughs> disgusting. And Jokic can obviously hit the three ball whenever you got him at a 94 overall. That was one of the crazier plays I've seen so far. Uh-oh, Siakam's wide open. That's not good. That's not good. He's a 93. He's going to hit those. You can't give him that opportunity. Yeah. It seems like a large gamble to run Kyrie at this point, just with everything that we've seen so far. It seems like they are starting to figure out a little bit to at least throw a little bit of a double team. Steal on Kyrie? 93 Siakam might be him? That might be the actual highlight of the video. Oh, Jokic, you're getting blown by like, oh. Oh, brother, what are we doing? An 86 Isaacs doing that to you? Jokic is wide open. Okay, you know what? If Tatum can get the, the open rating on that, even though he was not remotely close to open, you take it. But now you got to force a steal. And I don't think they're going to let that happen. You just play hot potato. And especially given the fact that it is... I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible to intercept a pass in this game. Should be a free win for them. So Siakam takes the three. Interestingly enough, wide open. Doesn't go in, but they get the win. All right, I need to see more out of this Jokic. What was Siakam's stat line in that? Honestly, uh, I was a little bit surprised Isaacs wasn't MVP given that he had Kyrie guarding him. I guess nine points in a steal, pretty solid stat line. Oh, Isaacs didn't really do that much.